Hey boys and girls, this week's story on the kindergarten lesson plans is Red-Eyed Tree Frog. It is by Joy Cowley and the photographs are by Nick Bishop. Red-Eyed Tree Frog, isn't he cute? <laughs> Evening comes to the rainforest. Now look at this picture guys. You can't really see the bright, pretty colors of the rainforest because it is starting to become evening in this picture. And in evening is the time of day when it, it starts to get what? That's it, nighttime. Y'all are so smart. The macaw and the toucan will soon go to sleep, but the red-eyed tree frog has been asleep all night. What do we call animals or insects? that sleep all night and, I mean, sleep all day and stay up all night. What is it called? Starts with an N, nocturnal. That's right, good job. It wakes up hungry, what will it eat? Here is an iguana, frogs do not eat iguanas, but they do live in the rainforest. Do iguanas eat frogs? The red-eyed tree frog does not wait to find out. It hops onto another branch. The frog is hungry, but it will not eat the ant. It will not eat the katydid. Will it eat the caterpillar? No, the caterpillar is poisonous. Something moves near the frog. Ooh, look at that, it's a big snake. Something slips and slithers along a branch. It is a hungry boa snake. This looks big and scary. The snake flicks its tongue. It tastes frog in the air. Look out, frog! Hmm. Jump! And look how long the frog is when he jumps. The frog lands on a leaf far from the boa. What does the frog see on the leaf? Look at his big eyes. A moth. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Look at the leaves hanging out of his mouth. I mean the um, wings. <laughs> the tree frog is no longer hungry. It climbs onto a leaf. This is a good picture of his little um, suction cup toes that help him cling to things that he wants to climb on. The red-eyed tree frog shuts his eyes and goes to sleep. As morning comes to the rainforest, because remember he sleeps during the day and he's up at night because he is, what's that word? Nocturnal, good. Red-eyed tree frogs live in the swampy parts of rainforest in Central America. They wake up just as the sun is going down and sit in the branches calling to one another. Their call sounds like gluck, gluck, gluck. Can you make that noise? Gluck, gluck, gluck. In many pictures in this book, the red-eyed tree frog looks quite big. Really, it is very small. Its body only about two inches long. On these two pages, the red-eyed tree frog is its actual size. So say he is rather little, only about two inches, maybe about the length of one of your fingers. The tree frog spends most of their lives in trees. They even lay their eggs in the trees. The female frog glues her eggs onto the underside of the leaf, leaves that hang over water. Here, the eggs are safe from other animals. When the tadpoles hatch, they drop into the water where they feed and grow until they turn into baby frogs. Then they are ready to leave the water and climb up nearby plants. Special suckers on the trees, I mean on the tree frog's toes help it climb and cling to leaves. The red-eyed tree frog also has large eyes to help it see in the dark and look for food. It likes to eat insects, but it has to be very careful. Many insects in the rainforest can defend themselves against hungry animals like frogs. Ants can bite, so the best, so they're best left alone. Katydids are often big and have lots of spines, so they are hard to swallow. Many caterpillars defend themselves by being poisonous. Moths, flies, spiders, and, gra and small grasshoppers are the tree frog's favorite foods. 
Of course, the red-eyed tree frog also has to watch out that it doesn't become dinner for some other animal. A hungry bat might swoop down and snatch it from its perch, or a, sm a snake like the baby boa in this book may sneak up on it. The tree frog's green color helps it blend in with its background, making it harder to find. A red-eyed tree frog will darken in color when it is frightened. Before daylight returns, the red-eyed tree frog finds a hiding place among the leaves of the trees. It tucks its toes under its chin and belly and flattens its body against a leaf. When it closes its eyes to sleep, only its green back is left showing. It stays hidden until it is ready to wake up again the next evening. Well, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this week's story, and we will see you soon. Bye.